Hey, this is Chris from Outbound Terrain. Welcome to the channel. Hey, today I have my good friend Vince here. Say hello. Hey. hey. Hi, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, what we're going to do today is um, we're going to change a steering stabilizer on uh, my friend's 97 uh, Land Cruiser. Really cool rig, and we'll, we'll do a little video on it later. Um, so we're going to start and uh, kind of get going here. Um, we've got... Uh, I think a good good steering stabilizer. We've got a uh, old man emu stabilizer. We're going to go ahead and put on. Nice. I see my neighbor's dog is barking. Thank you very much. Um, other than that, uh, we'll get this thing on and we'll get started. Okay, let's get started. It's not too hard to get in here. Uh, we got a 17 millimeter socket. We'll get this baby off. All right. All right. There we go, not too bad. And we'll get the other side in just a second. So we got the bolt top. What we're gonna have to do is separate the uh, uh steering damper from the uh the mount here so we'll do that we might have to use a pickle fork to get that out well we had a hard time getting this off we took the bolt off it's pretty much it's been on there for how long vince uh, 23 years 23 years of road grime and uh, usage so let's see if we can separate this joint pickle fork i got a big sledgehammer it's the only way to go man go big baby ready all right got it done all right so we got the driver's side off we're gonna do the passenger side same thing 17 uh, millimeter uh, socket <laughs> socket wrench open in wrench um can't get a ratchet in there with a socket so basically we already loosened it up this one's easier to get off Let me take that off of there pull that down <laughs> There we go. Well, that's that in. So that's the hard part. Congratulations. What do you think, Vince? Looks great. All right. Okay. So this is the old man emu. Real nice. Uh, big improvement over the old one we just pulled off. That's been on there for years and years. It's very well used. So when we put this on. This is going to make a big difference. Um, steering stabilizer will help with your steering. Help with the bump steer. Help uh, when you turn. Kind of keeps everything kind of stable under there. And if you have any wheel shimmy, this will pretty much take it out unless your ball joints are shot. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and get it on. A little different setup, tapered in. It's got a washer right here. So what we'll do, we'll stick it in the hole. There we go. So in there, it's kind of a hard, hard angle here because there's not much room because of this plate. Uh, it should hang there. Okay, get our, get our nut on. Pretty easy maybe there we go no cussing on youtube man the youtube gods will jerk my channel all right good so i got that started now that's a 19. so we'll go ahead and torque that down and there's a 19 on the bottom too so we'll do that i'm going to pause for a minute i'm going to tighten up the top same thing and we'll be right back all right, we got the top torqued down. So just so you know, it's tapered. So when it goes in there, it'll stop. When it's pretty much seated, just give it a good torque on the top. Like I said, you can't get a socket in here. So you gotta do it with an open end wrench. So bottom nut with a washer. Let's go ahead and torque that down. And uh, pretty much done on this side. Not too tight, man. You wanna squish that rubber bushing in there. Like I said, when we get the other side on, we'll come and just kind of tighten this up a little bit more. But for now, I'm just going to kind of snug it right there. So that was easy. That's the passenger side. So let's go over to the driver's side. The driver's side here. And uh, same concept, same hardware on this side, uh, uh, 19 millimeter. 
So, like I said, same thing. And feel, I mean, this thing is tight. That's what you want, man. You want it tight in the front. Now, if you took that other dampener and went like this with it, like I'm doing, it'd probably be easy to do because it's shot. You know, it's used, man. It's like factory. So, uh, all right, man. Get that in there. Got that. Same thing. And you can get a socket in here, I believe, which is nice. And tighten that mama up. Now, the other thing is this, yeah, let's see here, the shaft spinning. So you're going to have to hold one end here like this. There. Yeah, let's get it going. It'll do its thing. All right, same thing. Said it's tapered it'll seat itself you don't have to um, bang on it like a gorilla so you'll be all right and torque it pretty good <laughs> all right there she is man that's it well, we're a little loose right here. Let's try this. There we go. Sorry about that. I should have torqued down both ends here. You want it snug. You don't want to have to crush that rubber bushing in there, man. That's not good. It won't last as long. It'll wear out faster. All right. That's it. Look at that, man. All right. So we're done with that side. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go torque down the other side on the passenger side a little bit. And um, that's pretty much it for the install, guys. Okay, man. Got her on. Looks good. What do you think? Nice. Easy. A little frustrating uh, to get that pickle fork and put a little torque on it to get, the, uh, get those separated so you can get the old one off. But not too shabby. Okay, here's the old one. Just so you, what I was talking about, you know, it shouldn't be that easy to do this. Nah, shot, no good. Well, that's the factory one too from Toyota. Anyways, um, well, that was it for uh, that part of it. And I hope you enjoyed that part. Pretty easy to do. Well, all right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, pretty easy to put on. I mean, you could pretty much do it. Uh, Vince, my helper. Thanks, hey. Vince. Yeah, appreciate it yeah. yeah so this is his rig so he's real happy with that so that's going to be it just a short little vid for you and i hope this helps you out and um, this is chris from outbound terrain and you guys have a good day